Hello everyone, welcome back. We're here with more uh, Infinite Warfare. And uh, we're going to get right back into it. Come on, game. Just a little bit further. <laughs> there you go. Retribution, this is 1-1. One, one. Go for it, 1-1. One, one. Gator, I need SCAR 3 airborne for interdiction. Call for fire to follow. Talk to Lieutenant. Time to target one mic. Topcat to go. Air is inbound for suppression. Once they engage, we're taking this hill. Roger, Topcat. Go to replace. All right, I think we'll go with Seekers. Eclipse, go weapons free. I kind of wish we were playing Ethan. I think that'd be a cooler character to play. But I guess playing with him is probably more entertaining. What the hell's going on? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Okay. So so we know not to run straight down the middle. And I'm gonna have to cut my audio here a little bit. I don't wanna be screaming at you. <laughs> Alright, so let's stick to the left? Uh, the right, let's go to the right. Alright. So, I heard, I watched uh, Game Ranks Before You Buy, and they said they feel like this is the first uh, future warfare that they've done right, and I totally agree. Request for fire, target is marked. I think this, I think Advanced Warfare was the first future one, and it, I mean, some people liked it, but I think overall it was a miss. And then the Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3 didn't do anything for me. And I think those are all of the future Call of Duties. But so far this campaign and possibly the multiplayer seem to uh, have done it the best. Which is great because this is the one I was forced into buying. I probably wouldn't have bought this if they were selling... Modern Warfare Remastered for like 30 or 40 bucks on its own. But I'm almost a little bit glad that they forced me to buy this because I really like the zombies. I'm liking the campaign and I might even get into the multiplayer. Hacking charges. Go get them, drone. Boom, bitch. <laughs> yeah, this uh, regular difficulty setting, I think, is just right for me. Hardened and veteran are uh, quite crazy. Especially veteran. Veteran is almost rage inducing. Now, what do these do? Let's pick them up. Okay, so we use LB for them. Not sure exactly what that did. Roger, inbound for 
Take down that shit, boy. Boom! That's what we want. Whew, this is pretty crazy. Hit from over here. Request for fire. Target is marked. Roger. Target acquired. Inbound line. Shots out. Shots out. Respect on target, 3 1. Shaking bandits. Bugging out. Oops. <laughs> Oh, so maybe what the hacking does is it turns enemy robots into allies. I feel like they might have stepped up the regular. Or maybe I'm just rusty as all hell. That's probably more likely. I wonder how Ethan feels about killing robots and fighting with humans. Ooh, may maybe in the future of this game he turns on us. That would be an interesting angle. I kind of doubt that though. But, you never know. Holy shit. This gun's automatic. I didn't know that. <laughs> That's funny. I thought it was semi automatic the whole time. Boom, bitch! Sir, 
Jackpot, all stations. I say again, jackpot. Relieve the bot. Take the prisoner into custody. Petty officers, get that ATIS back up. We still got enemy ships in our airspace. Right away, Admiral. Sato forces are trenched in outside, setting up a fob. Good. Let's get a look at this son of a bitch. You'll need medical. I need nothing. He's got an employee ID. That's him. Michael Aaron Page, Mechanical Engineering Department, two years. SDF sleeper cell. That's not my name. That is the moniker of an Earthland fool. What is your name? Commander Akil Minraya, of the Settlement Defense Front. The operation on Europa. You started a war, and I will finish that war. Aegis guns are moments away from acquiring enemy targets, Admiral. Fast work, Ethan. Well done. You prolong the inevitable. Get him out of here. Ars Eternum. Stand fast, Marines. Give me five minutes with this bastard. Salt. So many innocent people, Reyes. Let's get out there and fight for him. <laughs> Roger. Where it goes, sir. Let's move. <laughs> Tap on the shoulder. This is Scar 1 1. Adis is back under UNSA control. I say again, we have control of Adis. That depth's retreating. Raider to Maine, Lieutenant Salter, and I need Bird. Aye, sir. 3 2 will escort to your position. Solid copy. That's all right, Ethan. Are we going to space? Ethan, you're with Lieutenant Reyes. Yes, sir. Let's do this, Ethan. Fuck some shit up. Autopilot on. Sweet crap. Look how fast we're going. Eight G's, baby. Uh oh, what's happening? Yeah, I guess we're in space. This might take me a minute to get the hang of.
Woo! <laughs> This is pretty cool. Oh shit! I can't believe I haven't crashed yet. Maybe you can't crash. Where is that target? How nuts would that be to see Earth, like, for real, from space? I can't even imagine that. It'd be too crazy. There she goes. Land on the Retribution. How easy or difficult is this going to be? Um, I'm getting some abnormal readings. Same, checking static pressure. What is that? Scars, concentrate all fire on that supercarrier. What's happening? It's Jon Snow. He was in the Middle Ages and now he's in the future. Maybe that's the descendant of Jon Snow. Did we just die? What happened? Okay, we did. What did I do wrong? So who am I supposed to shoot at? This is Admiral Salem Koch of the Olympus Mons. You are defeated. Death is no disgrace. This is like two nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Try this again.
trouble. Focus fire on that super carrier. Tigris is engaging. All scars, danger close. <laughs> Did they just teleport? Back to base. Just get the red. Got us in. Copy. Retribution. Scar one requesting permission to land. Copy. You're clear to land. Runway two Lima. Roger two Lima coming in now. Hold for lock. Stand by. thinking. Strategic maneuvers are above my pay grade, Lieutenant. Alert the bridge. Tell him we're coming up to see Captain Alder. The bridge has been locked down since the attack. Ethan, you and Gibson do as she says. Roger that. What's the count, boss? How many made it back? Scar 2s are in the net. After that, you're it. Son of a bitch. We need FaceTime with the captain. Yeah. We don't sacrifice our crew when we're overrun. Let's get to the bridge. Be IV push now. <laughs> Shit. The captain protects his men, Salt. He should have pulled back. Let's do it. <laughs> need Ethan's help, man. Cost us some good men. Didn't have to happen. Not like that. All due respect, Lieutenant. The captain did his duty. We drove the enemy into retreat. The captain's duty is to get his men home alive, Staff Sergeant. Not always, Lieutenant. Not always. Make way for the captain. Where is he, boats? Where's Captain Alder? Right here, sir. Gator. Captain's dead. Went down with his ship. XO? No longer with us, ma'am. All this happened in the crash? Yes, sir. So who has the con, Gator? Is the highest ranking officer on board? I believe you do, sir. Ah, shit. The destroyer Tigers is docking a shuttle to come aboard. Roger that. You spinning radar? Still turning, sir. Get Raven transport set for evac. I want our casualties outbound right away. Drop officer, coordinate with engineer and get us mobile. Roger. Engineer McCollum's on her way. Staff Sergeant, can we count on your help? You'll have what you need from me, Lieutenant. Salt, you with me? Always. Gator, get the Admiral on the line. Copy. Comms officer, STRATCOM, Top Cat Sauber. Roger. Tigers captain on deck. Captain Farron. Lieutenant, who's in charge here? Lieutenant Reyes, SCAR team leader. Captain, your ship and crew? Intact. Sir, Admiral Reigns is on the line. Put him through. Captain Farron, ladies, gentlemen, it's good to see you. Sir. Let me make our situation absolutely clear. We are now at war with the Settlement Defense Front. Due to Captain Alder's use of force, the enemy was driven into retreat. 
At this time, Tigers and Retribution are the only operable ships we have. Our course of action moving forward is to buy Earth time while we rebuild our fleet. Understood, Admiral. Tigris is prepared for tasking. Today's attack was not limited to Geneva. Set Def launched a concurrent strike on the Moon Gateway port, and those cargo terminals receive freight critical to rebuilding our fleet. So your mission is to retake that port. Lieutenant Reyes, I'm promoting you to the rank of commander. You are now the acting captain of Retribution. Roger that, Admiral. Keep the enemy away from home. Godspeed, Captains. Topcat out. You've got no air wing. We'll go without it. That's how we do things in the infantry, Lieutenant. We'll insert the Marines from Retribution. I'll provide overwatch from Tigris. Let's go to work, Captain Reyes. Stay sharp out there, all of you. You too, Captain. You got some shoes to fill now, Captain. We've got limited boots and guns. Lieutenant Salter and I will deploy with you. This is a ground assault. Captain's place is on the bridge. Not this, Captain. Not today. I thought he was commander. Marines take point. You ride in with us. The out of view changes. Muster on the well deck at five, Staff Sergeant. Copy. Get us going, Gator. Lunar Gateway. Aye, sir. Plotting a course. We'll notify when ready, Captain. Commander Reyes. Captain Alder's operations office is now yours. Be advised, his effects are still in place. Thanks, boats. For the indomitable Captain John Alder. The captain is dead. Long live the captain. Hey, Nick. Yeah? You can do this. You're the best we've got. High praise coming from you, Nora. You earned it, Raider. I'll give you a moment. I'll be honest with you. I don't see soldiers here. I see actors. Which kind of sucks a little bit. But that's okay. Um, I'm more focused on the gameplay than the story. Most wanted board. Salen Koch. Admiral. Oh, that's Jon Snow. At least I think it is. It looks like him. Akil Minraya. Isn't that the guy we just took? Status alive. Status alive. Okay. So we still have much to learn about most of these people. Computer. Armory inspection. I think these might be missions, are they? Whatever, let's click on this. Bureau of Firearms paid us a surprise visit. I didn't hear about this. Our enterprising Russian brethren did a little import export deal with their Canadian friends. Exhibition hockey game slash military surplus sale. Illegal. Highly. They've brought in the Bureau of Fleet Wide Inspection Big Crack Sale. They turn this place over? Sorry, that's too long. <laughs> I wish I was more interested in that kind of stuff. Let's go back on here. I didn't mean to back out. 
But yeah, it looks like those are intel logs. So just extra information. We could learn more about Salter, but honestly, I don't really care at this point. AA reports. Looks like they're the same thing. They're just uh, audio logs. Personnel files. There, we can learn more about Salter as well. We can learn more about our character. I'm kind of curious about Ethan. Oh, I guess it's not a, it's a, just something you can read. Enhanced Tactical Humanoid Third Revision, or E3N, is the newest addition of the Retribution's crew. The perfect soldier, he is not only stronger, faster, and more durable than any human, he is also programmed with a personality construct designed to integrate him quickly into any unit. Cool. A member of SCAR Team 1 and Lieutenant Reyes, longtime wing, wingman, Salter is arguably the best pilot in the Sato fleet. Her years of experience flying with the SCARs have honed her into a skilled and mature soldier. As XO of the Retribution, following Ray's promotion, she supports the captain, freeing him to concentrate on tactical planning and execution. Lieutenant Nick Ray's is commanding officer of the Naval Special Operations Task Force, SCAR, Special Combat Air Recon, Team 1. This naval commando is the consummate warrior. His leadership of SCAR Team 1 has been exemplary and Admiral Reigns has repeatedly recommended him for promotion. Following a field promotion he now serves as acting captain of the UNSA Retribution. Okay. Don't really give a shit about him. Or her, or him, or her, or her. Wow, there's quite a few characters. Okay, that's enough with the computer. So I heard in this game there's side missions, which is cool, but are they any good is the question. And uh, this video has actually gone on for a little bit, so why don't I just cut it here and I'll see you in episode 3.